The UN is expected to deliver food and medicine to the Syrian city of Homs in a relief operation agreed between the world body and Damascus. The eight convoys are due to enter Homs on the second day of a three-day ceasefire between the Syrian government and the foreign-backed opposition. The UN says its teams have pre-positioned food, medical and other basic supplies for immediate delivery. On Friday, more than 80 people were evacuated from the city under a deal reached between the Syrian government and the foreign-backed opposition. According to the deal, women, children and elderly trapped by the fighting were allowed to leave the ancient parts of the central city, also known as Old Homs. Joining us now is our correspondent Mohammed Ali on the line from the Syrian capital, Damascus. Now, Mohammed, uh, tell us about the preparations for the delivery of this aid and how this three-day ceasefire is holding up. Well, uh, there were some reports that uh, foreign-backed militants opened gunfire while people were being evacuated yesterday from uh, some parts of the, the old city of uh, Homs, mainly from Al Qarabis and Jurat Al Shiyah uh, neighborhoods. However, uh, we heard that there was one civilian injured inside before he was uh, uh, before he was evacuated. Up to the moment, uh, the reports confirmed that 83 civilians, the majority of which are women, children, and the elderly, were able to uh, uh, exit uh, those parts of the old city of Homs where foreign-backed militants continue to occupy them. They were able to exit uh, out. Uh, and to, uh, be, of course, there were, uh, there were some of the medical teams, the uh, Syrian Arab Red Crescent teams and the UN waiting for them uh, outside the near Deek al -Jin. This is an area on the outskirts of the old city of Homs. They were taken to uh, temporary shelters provided by the Syrian government. Only 83 were out. Uh, the number is expected to reach 200 perhaps tomorrow. Today, it is not expected to witness any more people uh, to be uh, evacuated. However, uh, in, in, the, in the agreement uh, between the Syrian government and the United Nations, of course, we know that uh, today it is uh, expected that there will be some medical and food aid delivered to the civilians trapped inside who did not wish to exit. They want to stay inside their homes because some people want to uh, exit the, uh, their houses. Some of them want to stay in their neighborhoods. So this is how the situation is. But we have to note here that many people on the ground, the Syrians in general, have been asking them on the streets about their opinions regarding such an agreement. Some of them agree with, 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 with the step, of, with such a step, uh, uh, and some of them oppose uh, delivering aid to inside the, 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 the areas where foreign-backed militants are present, because this would, of course, at the end of the day, such food aid would reach the, the, the militants themselves, who are at the end of the day, the majority of which are for, of foreign nationalities. The people believe that those civilian traps should be evacuated out for their safety and the militants should be squashed. Right, and very quick, quickly, if you can, Mohammed, what are the chances of this ceasefire being uh, replicated for other parts of Syria to get aid in and move civilians to safety? Well, we have to note here to the Syrian government's efforts uh, uh, in, uh, across the country for uh, bringing more aid to the people trapped in areas witnessing clashes and to evacuate people. Previously, the Syrian government has allowed all the people who wish to leave uh, such areas, for example, al muadamiya hundreds of people, if not thousands, were uh, allowed out of the area and they were provided with shelters by the Syrian government. Uh, there are areas that foreign-backed militants deny its civilians from leaving Okay, that was our correspondent, Muhammad Ali, who was uh, reporting uh, from Damascus. We'll try and get him back up for you in our later bulletins to give you more of an insight about what's taking place in Syria.